Assalamualaikum everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm so sorry about the first video because there were a little bit problems in that video so that's why I had to uh, edit and cut to ripple paste a couple of scenes over there and uh, in the middle there was a little bit problem in the audio quality as well uh, due to which I've actually changed my microphone so I hope the video quality and the audio actually they both are synced with each other because in the previous video there was a problem of syncing. So okay, without further ado, let's get started with the ancient Greeks, okay? So guys, ancient Greeks, the Greeks were the people who lived around the agency from where they had access to the Mediterranean, okay? So now, again, I'm going to show you this uh, picture of the world map which we were seeing before of the Europe as well. So see, now these were the people living near the agency and due to which they were having the access to the Mediterranean Sea as well. This was their access. And now because they were living in the very outskirts of the of their, uh, let's say, uh, settlements, due to which at the very beginning they were not having enough farmlands in the very middle. So they, have, they had to, you know, move in the very outskirts which were very near to the water. Uh, to the rivers and to the seas uh, but through which they could uh, you know s start earning some money by catching fish and selling it okay so getting back to it so this area was mountainous and there was very little land to farm absolutely that's just the way I told you so further it's saying that most Greeks settled on the coast and made their living from the sea by fishing that's how they lived as I told you before so in the time the coastal settlements grew into city-states and the Greece had nearly a hundred and fifty of them uh, so they were actually having city-states there were 150 of them as I showed you in the really inter in the introduction video uh, this was the picture that I was showing you that these were the small small settlements which they were you know tra transforming into the major city-states so these were turning into city-states Sparta Spartans the one we're gonna be studying and these were the major temple or shrines, okay? And these were the areas of the Greek settlements. These were the Greek settlements over here, if you can see in the world map, okay? And then the strongest of these were cities called Athens and Sparta. Now over here, we are having uh, Athens over here and Sparta. So they were the most popular, uh, or maybe let's say the most powerful ones out of them, okay? Now uh, going back, Athens grew rich through the trade and it is also had a strong way a navy, a strong navy. It became the cultural center of the Greek with the fine buildings and temples and its people were found education, uh, fond of education and learning. Theater, literature, mathematics were the subjects of the conversation in the marketplace. Now over here were the subjects of conversation in the marketplace. Do not get confused with the word uh, uh, marketplace because that is actually used over here as a uh, as, 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 as a you know figurative language like marketplace not exactly like marketplace but actually they're uh, just you know speaking about it uh, over here that you know usually people were let's say you know talking and discussing about these subjects about the discoveries about uh, uh, their research as well okay but adding more to that I'm just gonna go back a little bit that it became the cultural center of Greece buildings okay before that Athens grew rich through the trade at his at as it also had a strong navy. Now let me show you in this picture, there was a picture. So over here, there was a picture of their trade routes that how did they uh, trade it with each other. Okay, just, okay. Greek colonies and trade. So these were their trade routes through which uh, they were trading, uh, selling their uh, agricultural products uh, and a lot of different things, whatever uh, was the mm, uh, product of the market at, of that time. Uh, so this is how they were trading. So these red lines you can see, these were actually the passageways or let's say the highways, we can say the, the, high, the sea highways for the ships through which they traveled and uh, did their business. And then, over, uh, and then uh, it became the culture center of the Greece with fine buildings and temples. Uh, fine buildings and temples, actually here they're discussing about their architecture because on the, ne on the next page if you can see so these were these were you know really f I would say that really really fine buildings at that time because uh, uh, just imagine without technology without machinery without trucks and whatever the machinery and technology is used today in uh, uh, developing a building building a building or you know designing the architecture and everything so these the, these people were doing it actually without any of these modern day technologies which we use today uh, to build any structure or take an example of our houses as well. So going back and continuing the chapter over here reading. Yeah, 
So they were also interested in the literature, in the uh, in the theater, in the mathematics as well, regarding to mathematics and uh, regarding to mathematics. Actually, we will be definitely discussing on the next page because their philosophers were really amazing. The discoveries they did and they are still being used today. For example, how ships are floating on the surface of water, whether in river or in the sea. So that's something, uh, some kind of principle that we're going to be discussing or when we were be, when we will be discussing about their scientists. So do watch that video as well. So uh, Sparta was a different and gave importance to the martial arts. Sparta, they're talking about the city that that this city was different and uh, they actually gave gave importance to the martial arts, some kind of a fighting way. Most young Spartans were trained from the early age to become soldiers. Now the people of the Sparta, they had this uh, understanding, this mindset that uh, whatever the young children that we're going to be having, especially the males, so they will be trained uh, uh, from really young age and they will be called as Spartans. And if I remember, I told you that Spartans was their elite force, just like in Pakistan army, we are having some elite force like commandos, SSG commandos in Navy SEALs, and exactly like that, they were having their special elite forces in the armies called the Spartans, and they were actually trained from the really young age. And Sparta is actually a city as well. Uh, okay, over here, if you can see, let me zoom into it. Over here, if you can see, near the Athens, on the other side of the coast, we have a Sparta over here. Okay, guys, I hope that uh, this video was helpful for you, and you got an idea for the ancient about the ancient Greeks. And we discussed in this uh, topic about the, uh, the their trading routes and how these small settlements turned into the major city states. Uh, uh, what was the significance of the Athens and Sparta, and uh, why the people were very popular? They were very popular because of their learning, uh, education, theater, literature, mathematics, and also Sparta, uh, which was let's say their not not I, I wouldn't say military capital, but actually they were responsible for producing some of the great warriors of their time at that time okay guys thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video uh if you like the video so yes please give us a subscribe thumbs up and comment down if you were here and yes see you in the next video thank you so much